Hello guys, in this session I am going to show you how to install Samba on your Raspberry Pi. And, and what's the need of Samba server? I don't think you want to code in Tony ID. No, no, no. And you can code it on your external laptop or your desktop. And you can just copy the code and paste it to a shared folder. From that Raspberry Pi you can access it and you can run it over Raspberry Pi. And also you can make a NAS using it. That is network attached story. Okay guys, let's move on to our tutorial. Okay guys, I am going to open my VNC viewer. Yeah, remote desktop connection. Yeah, remotely log into my Raspberry Pi. Now, first of all, we want to install Samba. Okay, just open the terminal and write sudo apt get install Samba. Okay, guys. Okay guys, now this install Samba is installed successfully. I have already installed it and I just uninstalled and install it again. Okay guys, no problem. Now we want to go to our home folder, Pi home, okay, home Pi. Here I want to make a new folder that is for sharing. I'm just giving the name shared. Okay, you can give any name here. Okay, and click on okay, shared. Now we want to change its permissions. Okay, default permission, we want to change it. Go to properties, permissions and change it to anyone. Okay, view content, anyone and change content, uh, not anyone, access content, anyone. Okay, now just click on okay. Yeah, do you want to recursively ap apply this change to all the files and subfolders? Okay, uh, I need it. Okay, so just click on yes. And also I want to tell you something that this is not a secure method. Okay, just closing it. Okay, now we want to make some changes on our SMB file so just type sudo nano slash etc slash samba samba slash smb dot com co a configuration file okay guys now this file is opened in nano editor you can see here and we want to go to the last of this file and we want to add something there Yeah, here we want to define something. Okay, first of all, we want to give a name for this share. Uh, you can give any name there. I'm just uh, giving the same name as shared. You can give any name here. Okay, guys. Next, you want to give the path to that shared. Okay. Uh, now we want to give the path. Okay, and just type in path equal to home slash home slash pi slash our folder name i gave shared so i'm just giving shared okay guys now we want to give some attributes there that is read only equal to no okay because we want to write also and public public equal to yes now writable okay writable equal to yes now only guest only guest equal to no create mask create mask equal to zero triple seven yeah and directory mask directory mask equal to same zero triple seven now for saving this just click on control x okay control plus x okay you can see uh, see here save modified buffer so yes, i want to save it then click on y yes you can see here 
it is saving as smb dot uh, file it is replacing the file yes click on enter yeah now it's okay i am just restarting the samba server for that just type sudo service smbd restart yeah now it's restarted uh, i'm just going back to my windows and check there if it is working okay guys i'm going here going to my network okay guys okay guys raspberry pi will not be listed here guys for that we want to change something on our windows some settings on our windows just go to control panel okay and programs programs and features okay you want to click on turn windows features on and off yeah from the yeah from here from here you want to just go to smb you can see here smb 1.0 cfs file sharing support just click on that okay guys yeah you want to confirm these two uh, these two settings are turned on okay these two smb cfs client and smb 1.0 cfs server are uh, checked and click on ok yeah it will take some time applying changes okay you want to restart it i i, I will restart it later so i'm just giving don't restart okay guys now i am just closing that and uh, at that time you can see here it's going back to my raspberry pi network just refreshing it okay guys so we want to make one more change here okay I just type on your start button okay gp edit dot msc okay just click on that okay guys from there you want to go to administrative you can see here administrative templates click on that and networks okay and network from there just go down and you can see here landman workstation just click on that yes yeah and on the third option you can see enable secure guest logons it is uh, now it is not configured state uh, we want to change it so right click on that and edit i uh, we want to enable it and just apply and okay okay now it's all set okay now i am just restarting my system because raspberry pi is not listing on my network okay guys now my system is restarted and we can go to our network okay before that guys i want to say you something please subscribe my channel then only i can make more videos for you okay guys so please subscribe now uh, i am double clicking on my raspberry pi you can see here raspberry pi is listed and i am just opening that you can see here our shared folder i am just opening it there is nothing because we have uh, done nothing on it and i am just uh, going to my pi okay opening vnc viewer i am going to pi okay guys and i am going to that folder our shared folder you can see here this is our shared folder home pi and shared okay i'm just uh, creating a new uh, file there okay new file is uh, typing and this is my name so dot uh, txt creating a text file there okay now we can see whether it is reflected here or not opening shared yeah you can see here anas is displayed here now i am i can just edit that file you can see here it is blank now okay guys now i am just typing something here guys okay typing welcome to anirudh tech okay guys and i am just saving it yeah and i am trying to access it from here you can see here welcome to anirudh tech it is on right and also you can add some files here from here also you can just type okay create a new file okay just typing anas ap yeah you can see here it's reflected on your raspberry pi and you can make some changes from here you can type some blah 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 and just save it 
yeah and you can see here it's reflected here yeah guys and you can also make changes from here and just save it and also guys if you want to make changes from your windows just go to your raspberry pi then click on that right click on that uh, file and give permissions okay change content anyone anyone execute anyone okay now i have changed the permissions and you can see here i'm going to uh, uh, now i am just clicking here please please subscribe okay guys now i am saving it yeah now you can see it here it is reflected on our raspberry pi yes i hope you understand okay guys, i am just closing it okay guys now we can see how to map our network drive okay just go to your pc on the top left you can see computer just click on that and map network drive map network drive click on that yeah you can assign any drive letter here and you want to specify the folder okay i'm just clicking on browse and you can see a uh, raspberry pi listed and the folder shared folder here just click on that and click on okay okay guys and just click on finish okay you can see here guys it's here now i just uh, close it and you can see it listed on your network locations here shared folder you can see here it is showing as a drive and you can uh, write anything to here and read it from here and uh, for writing anything to a file you need to give permissions on your raspberry pi okay guys i hope you enjoyed this section if so please like this video and consider subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts regarding this section feel free to contact me thank you